okay so welcome back to this course so now from this section we will start working on our admin dashboard okay so we will add all the routes and functionalities that are related to the administrator like creating new product updating product and uh, updating the order users and the reviews all that stuff that admin can do basically okay so also if i go back to my chrome you will see that i have a dashboard option so on the dashboard i have display here a sidebar that will contain all the options all right so in this video i will design my sidebar component and then in my next video i will add my dashboard and display all the information okay so simply go to the components and let's create here a new folder that is called admin that will contain all the components related to the admin so new file here that is called sidebar.js you can also put that sidebar in the layout it is also fine to put that in the admin folder because it is only related to the admin okay so racfe to create my basic markup and here first we have to import the link so import the link from react uh, react router dom all right and then let's simply go back to my uh, notepad and copy the markup this is admin sidebar.html okay so i simply copy this uh, sidebar wrapper okay let's copy it i think so i have to don't copy the last two divs so one and two yes so simply copy it go back and let's actually put that right here because we don't need to put here the metadata or title because this is the sidebar component and we have to use inside the other components okay so first of all press ctrl h to replace the class with class name okay and then you also have to replace it with the link Control C, put that here, 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 and here. Okay. And also, we have to basically replace this href. So, Control D to type here 2. So, we save it. And so, now oh, let's actually put our links here so this dashboard will go to slash dashboard slash dashboard and then this all products this is products and this is sub menu all and create so all products will go to slash admin slash products and then let's put in here slash admin slash product okay and then let's put in here the orders so slash admin slash orders and then slash admin slash the users okay and I think so we are missing here reviews so I simply copy this one ally put that here that will go to slash admin slash reviews okay and that is f a s f a star okay and actually this is not f a s this is only font awesome so i move this f a from here okay then this is f a f a plus this is also and also here Okay. this is also fa so let's simply save it and that's it i think so we are done with our sidebar component now in my next video i will create the dashboard component and embed the sidebar in that and the dashboard we also have to display some data okay so that is for this video i will see you in the next video okay so welcome back to this course so in the previous video i have designed the sidebar and now let's in this video handle our dashboard component so I simply create here a new file that is called dashboard.js R-A-C-F-E Now I have to display here the total number of products in the database 
total number of users total number of orders and the products that are out of stock okay but right now i have not created the routes for the orders and the users so i will just put here the hard coded values and then we will head our other routes like display all users display all orders display all products everything like that then we'll add our values here okay so in this video we just have to design the dashboard and then we will add the values later or the data later okay so let's first of all i have to bring in the fragment wave first of all so fragment and then let's also import here use effect we don't have to use it yet but i will import it and also we have to import the link link from refractor dom and then let's also import here the metadata so import dot dot slash let's also import the loader Control D loader and also we have to import the sidebar because I have to display the sidebar also. So import from import sidebar from dot slash sidebar. Okay. And then the dashboard, let's also put in the fragment. Okay. And the fragment I simply put in here div row and the first div will contain class of column. By default, the column is going to be 12, and for column medium, we have to put here 2. Okay, so it will take the 12 columns when we will on the medium screen, then it will take only 2 columns. Okay, and then in that, I simply have to put here my sidebar, sidebar, and, and then after that. Uh, if I go back to my dashboard.html, I, I also have here this one. So what I do is, I simply copy this one. So copy this, so control C, and copy and let's go back and actually put that right here. So we save it. And press ctrl h to replace the class with the class name and then i find the link uh, so a tag now we have multiple a's so what i do is i simply go to the top i have to replace uh, a tag this one so replace it with the link okay so it is already to two and then here i have also the link okay and then the link then two this is two not href and this is also two and that's it so we save it and you can see that these are hard coded values so out of stock for products but i will add later and we will done with our admin routes okay and also for this number of users 45 i will add that later okay so let's simply save it and if i simply go to my app.js okay and let's actually put here comments First of all, I put in here the cart reports and then the order imports and then the of or the user imports and then let's put in our admin imports. So import dashboard from slash components slash admin slash dashboard 
and I go to the bottom. This is definitely a protected route, and also this is an admin route. So what I do is I simply duplicate this one. So I pass a protected route. I will go to slash dash board, and the component is going to be uh, dashboard. Now definitely this is protected route, but this is only for admins. So to so to handle the admins on the front end, I simply pass here a prop is admin. Okay, so is admin, and I pass in here true because this is only for admin. So I pass here that is admin is true. And then I simply go back to my root route protected route. I simply bring in from here is admin that we have passed from there. So it is true. So I will simply check that. Loading is false, and if is authenticated is equal to false, let's also check here that if is admin equals to true and user dot role is not equal to admin, this means that user is not an admin, so I simply return and redirect to slash okay so i simply pass here is admin then i check that if if is admin is true that we have passed from here that data is true then and we check that if user dot role is not equal to admin this means that user is not admin so i'll simply redirect user back to the home page we cannot allow user to access this page if it is not admin so we save it go back save it and now let's actually test it out if i go back to my dashboard Reload it and if I click on dashboard. Uh, you will see here we have the dashboard and we don't, we don't have actually we have to put that in the container. So, what I do is simply go back to my here and let's actually put this out of this div. This div is actually the container div, okay. This one, so I simply put this out of the div. Now I press Ctrl S, go back, and now you can see that we have our dashboard here. So this is the total total amount, total number of products, orders, users, and out of stock products. And we will definitely display the original values and we will add all these functionalities. So don't have your dashboard icon. So simply go back to my sidebar, and that is FA. I do this R from here. So let's save it. Now we have a dashboard also, okay. So in this way we can use a dashboard. So in the next video, uh, we are done with the dashboard component and we will add these values later. But right now I just need to, first of all, uh, so I simply go back and let's actually put in here uh, A and href, so we save it. Go back now. You can access it, okay. And also, all is not have the icon, so that is FA clipboard. So, we save it, go back, and now this also has the icon, okay. So, in my next video, I will basically display all the uh, products in this all, okay, and then we will also display these products right on our dashboard, okay. So, we will display one by one in these boxes. So next video I will display all the products. So I will see you in the next video.